Hello and welcome to episode 6 of our Garuda God campaign. In the last episode, we ended a... Well, we, weren't, we didn't end it, but we finished the episode in the middle of a war with Frozen Maw here. Uh, and we were kind of deciding how we wanted to do the peace deal while we are waiting to siege the rest of their country down. There was a coalition against them, so they were getting beat up by Gwed and company. Uh, mostly, mostly just Gwed doing most of the work here. Wait, uh, okay, they have a 566 Great Conqueror. That's that's great. That, I, that's not the way I want to start today off. That's not what I wanted to see. Um... Cool. Uh, I'm sure that'll go fine for us. That'll go fine for us. Um, but we are going to be working out our peace deal right here. Now, something that someone pointed out that is a very good point is we should think about not only our claims or not claims, because that was kind of the option here, take the east or take the west with our claims, but also defensiveness. And because of that, we're going to be taking at least, at least these two provinces because... Well, having this island is nice just to have. And having uh, Jotun's Bob makes Balvorin, actually, well, it's renamed now to uh, Kranstur, Kransturgtar. Kransturgtar. Yeah, that's close enough. Uh, which means that it's actually like a good fort now, and we will block everything off from moving east. And this level two uh, salt fort that is coastal that I can get more defensiveness on will be even better. And that sounds, that sounds great. That sounds wonderful. Now, I do, at the very least, want to get a border out to Crackdown Vor here. I would like to be able to go up and take out the dwarves as soon as possible. Uh, now, I believe I needed a special province for my holy site. Where are you? You of Pekin Vosamua. Controlled by Maraki. Okay, actually, this is much farther away. I know where this is. Uh, this is over on the coastline over here somewhere. So, that's not going to happen... For a while. For a while. Uh, let me check my mission tree here. Where the heart is, yeah, that's fine. The north will be ours, so I need to own... Let's we'll either loggers and or this province. Uh, that's great. The old enemy, I need to be at war with... Oh, Cracks and Roar. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Uh, our giant kin, I need to own everything down here. The Mossmouth Plea... Uh, I need to own provinces in the Serpent's Vale region. Okay. Well, I mean, eventually we have to take everything, right? And that is uh, undeniable. The question is, what do we want to go for this time? I think we do take this line right here of provinces and then kind of encircle back around here, something like that. Yeah, it's bad borders, right? It's border gore, but I do think that this is, in the end, the best choice for us. This will put us farther behind on admin tech, uh, but that is okay. That is a sacrifice I'm willing to make for the moment that I would like to complete my ideas and such, but that's not going to be possible. Uh, now, after all that talking, let's actually do it. Uh, <laughs> let's, let's unpause and actually go and occupy things. Now, he still has 22,000 some odd troops hanging around. Uh, well, there's some of them. And I've got most of my troops up in here, because this is where I thought they were, but they're definitely not up in here. Uh, yeah, and he just caught out all of those troops, because I didn't move them far enough away. Well, that's fine. Uh, kind of rude, but so be it. I don't know where he's running to, because this is a dead end. Uh, he's just running up into the caves at this point. Did he really run outside Kugdir and come back down and around? Nope. He did not. All right, there we go. We fight him here. We retreat back to here. We stack like that 2K. And I don't know where he's running because he can't go anywhere because I control this fort. So he's stuck right here. Yep. Uh, we will renounce our claim. So this is part of the debosterization. It's a very good event for us to get. And then we will stack wipe right here. Maybe. Uh, maybe at some point we will get the stack wipe. Still 1.33, so we're just currently uh, dying to ghost units, which is wonderful. There we go. Now they're taken out. Perfect. That gets us to 70 some odd percent. Let's move our guys out and around to go through their capital, and then that will probably be the uh, war done and over, which is pretty sweet. All right, move you guys off the siege. Just keep getting the war score from battles. Sounds great. Sounds wonderful. We're all occupied, and our leader has died. I mean, okay, we have a 563 that is uh, coming up, and our queen consort's 662, so I am uh, not going to be too sad about that. That, though, is a problem. That is a very big problem. Um, 
We just got a border with uh, the Goetti. Yeah, that's... That's gonna cause issues. That's gonna cause lots of issues. I have a feeling that Great Conqueror Goed is not going to take too kindly to my existence here. Uh, okay, I'm actually gonna change this piece still up. So I do want this. Right? Yeah. I'm gonna go and take this fort here. We're gonna go take... I wanna take a little bit less. Uh, I want max money, essentially, is what I want. Yeah. Uh, I'll take... Do I need Jawad? No, I don't need Jawad. Uh, I'd have to give up two provinces. I, mean, I could give this up, but I don't want the centaurs to come in and take anything. Well, do I? I mean, actually, I kind of do. Because that, that would make it easier for me to take it for truces and such. I really need money. I really need money. Alright, go ahead and core all of that up. And uh, let's get ready for wars, go ahead. Because I've got a feeling it's it's not too far off. It's not too far off. Alright, uh, we will have to take text sometime soon. We can convert provinces to mountain watchers. Let's go ahead and do that. Yes, we have high uh, things there. That's fine. We have this fort here. Uh, let's go ahead and build up a workshop. Was there anything else I needed money for? Mm, no. Not that I can see. Where the heart is. Yeah, I need to do some mill development here. I get ivory. Let's do that. Let's do that right now. Uh, where the heart is? Uh, Hishiker... Hirtsiki. Hirtsiki? Heartland? Heartland for all trolls. Here, the first frost troll was made. Shaped from ice, shaped from stone. By the frost giants, great and strong. We too, great and strong, we will honor their gift. So we lose 100 admin power, but we gain ivory here now, instead of naval supplies, which is much, much nice. And the north will be ours. We own loggers and ore this province. Uh, with our empires reestablished, it is paramount that we reclaim all that was once lost to our forebears. We march relentlessly to the east until all is, that is cold and beautiful is ours, and the empire of the giant kin owns the north. So we gain additional colonists and more global settler increase, which is very nice, because we can start going up into the caves. We'll get this one done first. Uh, but yeah. Was there anything, like, specific that I needed to build? I don't think so. I don't think so. For now, at least. Uh, Serpent Shadow needs to be owned by me. Wait, did I not take that? <gasps> oh, no, I didn't. That's alright. It's okay. It's not a big deal. We don't need those claims yet. Alright, with this money... Uh, <laughs> we're gonna build some shipyards. I know, I know. I know. It hurts, but we need to do it. I need to have more naval force limit or we're going to die. It's just the way it is. Because I am expecting a declaration of war from Gwed the moment all of this is done cord. Yeah. Yeah. He's, uh, King Waylam Gerwick is not going to be a fan of the monsters on his border. That is for sure. That is for sure. You are... I could go right into a war with you is the thing. Aggressive expansion-wise, I can afford it. But if I'm at war with these guys, and then Goed decks, I'm in trouble. But Goed's gonna deck no matter what. Like, I'm I am 90% confident that Goed is going to declare on me the moment he's done with these cores. The moment. Uh, and I can't even tell how long it's gonna be until that happens. Who are you in a trade league with? With these two? Oh, I would love to annex this guy. Would love to annex this guy. <laughs> no. No. I feel like it would be a bit of an overextension. Oh, man. I don't know. You know what? You know what? You only live once, right? You only live once. So we will take advantage of the situation here. The fact that they are busy in another war. And we will do this. Uh, build a swine network on Gawed. Just... Let me know when they're about to deck me, please. Just so I have a little bit of warning. Would be nice. Uh, these guys are fully seized down by particularists, so they should want out of the war. Uh, if I go and blockade them, 
that should be more than enough. It's really not, huh? That is surprising. That is surprising. We're going to hire an admiral here. Okay. Just so people don't want to engage my navy. Uh, what's the navy's looking like here? I actually have way more galleys. Maybe we can capture some. If I, uh, if I fight their navy. So let's try. Uh, oh, yeah. We're going to have to build some troops up for out here, unfortunately. Uh, build two for now. Two for now. But eventually we will need some more. Uh, Alright, they shouldn't be able to run from here. Wow, glad we just walked in there because three ships of mine. Oh, because the galleys were completing. Oh, man. In Monster's Conquest against Wyvern Heart. It's fine. It's not a big deal. Uh, this is coastal, right? Yeah. Send our galleys on over. And let's get rid of them. Bavik, how close are you to wanting out, bud? Minus five. All right. Now if I go blockade him, he should want out. There we go. What? How do you want out less? Uh, whatever. Won the Siege of Rivesby. Bring all of our troops together here. And let's get access through you. Okay, then I will not save you. Get over it. If you, I mean, if you don't want to give me access, then I just won't save you. Societal reforms. Hey, didn't lose his dad. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh, we don't need to send all of our troops over. Let's keep like, I don't know, 10, 15,000 over here. Just to make sure he doesn't try and contest this. And once he's done teaching this. Plus, we do have rebels to deal with, so. That's good. Let's put our good general in charge of that as well. Uh, you can move over here. You can go and besiege Bavik. Oh, it's because it's because they own this island. That's that's why. Okay, that makes way more sense. Um, how much AE would this be? Twelve. And how much AE is this? Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. And how much AE does Goet have on me? Twenty-eight. Uh, yeah, I'm not great at math, but I'm pretty sure that if we take both of these, we're going over 50. So, uh, Bavik, uh, just give me uh, nothing. Go away. Just go away. That's all I am asking for. Alright, you can go home. Now, how many ships does Gawed have? This is a very, very important question. They have four heavies and one galley, 17 light ships. Okay, I think we have... Naval superiority over Goed. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get money. I'm going to delete this fort, and we're gonna build a fort here on Jotun Jotun's Glota, and we are going to use our naval supremacy in order to bait Goed's troops across and stack wipe them here. That's the plan. Is it a is it a good plan? Maybe not. But it is a plan. Okay, go ahead to war with someone else. Perfect. Are you going to make me seize you down? Yes, you are. Okay. Uh, go ahead and take both of you guys off of there to save on manpower a little bit. And you two over here. You can go back up here to loot this. Because there is still some loot. Uh, offensive and economic ideas. I would rather make sure we're not falling too far behind here. I also need to develop the institution. Which I should do uh, right now, actually. Yeah, you know what? We're going to encourage development here. We're gonna we're gonna develop the institution right now. That mill tech is not all that important for us. There we go. So that's colonialism. Uh, so now it should be yeah. Once it spreads, then we will embrace that because uh, we can't afford to fall behind on that. And all in all, we didn't spend too many points on it. Like, yeah, we don't get this tech, but it doesn't matter for me. I don't use any of these. Though, studying technology would be nice. Right? Would be nice. But, hey, beggars cannot be choosers. All right. Dinesk, you go ahead. Give me your money, your war reps, your trade power. Get rid of that and that. Give me as much prestige as you possibly can, so that way I stay at 100. And as for you, it's going to be a full annex. Yeah. There we go. Thank you. 
we can start to core that up. Now I could decide to declare war on Sedevic immediately. I have a truce with Sedevic until 1534. Well, that's sad. Yeah, I do with all of these guys. Wait, that's what the coalition did to Frozen Ma. They forced them to release all their vassals. Ah, I see, I see, I see. That makes sense. Okay, I was wondering what they did. And uh, that, that tracks, that tracks. All right, let's get this fort set up. And let's get ready to stack wipe Gwed over here. And we'll just sacrifice these provinces to be sieged down. I don't really care. You know, you got to pick your battles, right? You got to pick your battles. Now, we're going to be losing a lot of money. Be oh, never mind. Our shipyards have come into play. Let's go ahead and build up five more galleys here. And the reason I'm building galleys instead of, heavy instead of heavies is twofold. One, I can... Hmm. I can't afford heavies. Are you kidding me? Heavies are expensive. Yeah, go about to deck me. Uh, let's get you guys over here, preferably. Uh... All right, well, uh, everybody start praying because that's our only hope. Death of a merchant? Yeah, give me the money. Is there anything I can do with this money to help me win this war? Ah, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Buy that down. We are in Recky Separatists, okay. He's building up. Uh, if he decks me, we have to delete this fort and then hope our navy can hold while we wait for this fort to be built. That is the only hope we have got. Hey, hey, go, go ahead, buddy. We're rivals. <laughs> we're, we're rivals. Oh. Oh, okay. Never, never mind. He kill, he's killing Cold Marker before he kills me. Cool. Thanks. Appreciate it. Thank you for uh, holding off. It's because it's because we're rivals. We're equals. Gwed and I, we're we're equals here. Okay. Anybody that tells you differently is crazy. Hey, where are these uh, rebels here? Oh, they are way out there. Okay, never mind. Send these guys back. Newfound decorum. Gra! No, no. We lose the we lose the points. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, let's hire another general. Oh, Thorv the Relentless. Hello. Hello, my good friend Thorb the Relentless with your six shock pips. I think we're going to be the best of friends. The best of friends. Oh, so H of Unraveling. Uh, don't know if that helps me at all. But it probably doesn't. It, uh, it probably hurts me. It doesn't help me. I don't know how. Okay, well, Cold Market's dead. So now Goed's going to kill us after this is all cored up. He even took this island, which is very convenient because now I can just take it off of Goed. Look at that. Works out perfectly. No! Our queen consort has died. Now we have a 411 instead of a 662. This is the worst trade deal in the history of trade deals. All right, well. Uh, wasn't, wasn't planning on declaring war on anybody for the next two years anyway, so that's fine with me. I'm chilling. We're actually making a lot of money here. Like 30 ducats a month. It's kind of crazy. And gold isn't even like the largest part of that. Uh, yeah, let's get a little bit more trade power here. Get a couple of these workshops up and running. Diplomatic faux pas. It's fine. Want to get up those uh, diplo points. Okay, you can go back to protecting trade here, I guess. Does this do anything for me? Nah, this doesn't do. Jack diddly squat. You are one more click, two more clicks away from getting deleted if you don't give me what I'm looking for here. Nope. If you can't bring in decent trade power, then it is just not worth the uh, investment. Did that just go down when I started protecting trade? It did. Why? What? Why? Why are my trade ships decreasing my trade power? I'm so confused. I've never even... No, it's increasing... No, no, I'm just dumb. I'm just dumb. Like, it's going from 6.56... Oh, no, I'm not dumb. 
It's increasing my trade power, but decreasing the amount that I'm... What? <laughs> Why is it do? You know what? You're deleted. Give me six more galleys. Those will help me survive much better than whatever in the world was happening there. That was weird. I don't know why my trade ships gave me more trade power, but I then pulled less trade. But, okay. Uh, let's get rid of these rebels here. I'd rather them not uh, spawn at all. There we go. Delete this fort. And you can make your way back here. Alright, now I'm hoping that Goed just decks me. I want him to deck me at this point. Like, it sucks that uh, he's a great conqueror, so it means he'll be stronger, but like, I don't want to declare on him. Declaring on him would be, uh, well, that would be death. Because then I have to fight all of his allies as well. If I was on an island, that'd be great, but I'm not. I'm not on an island. So they could just walk over here and siege this down, and we don't want that. No siree, we do not want them. Okay, Rise of a Pretender. The 563 is now in charge. Uh, God is with Alvaldi. Where is Zindlar? Bro, why are there Pretender Rebels? We just got this land. How are there possibly Pretender Rebels? Also, he's a scholar. That is amazing. That is really, really good for us. Uh, cool, thank you, yes. Uh, appreciate it. Alright, please. Okay, morale armies, that's fine. Maybe Goed doesn't want to attack us. No, he's he's attacking people that are weaker, to be fair. Uh, he's finishing up all the OPMs on the coast, which, yeah, I, I understand. I understand that. It gives me more time to build up more stuff, though. Increase my force limit, give me more naval force limit, more manpower, deal with my rebels. I appreciate it. Goed is just being a kind guy here. Just being a good old pal. Leave one troop there. Go deal with these rebels. <laughs> Hello, dwarves. Good to see you, dwarves. Let's start improving with the centaurs, because while I don't want to be friends with them for a long time... Succession. Do I want a 124 air? How about no? How about a very solid no thank you? Uh, while I don't want to be friends with them forever, it would be nice to... Uh, for them not to attack me. It'll be good. It'll be good. Okay, how much is it to embrace? We're not even there yet. Really? Really? Okay, let's sell titles and revoke land here. Make sure we're staying above 20. We can take Aventech. That's good. Core that on up. And I could start to colonize here. Let's send, uh, like, six guys and the weaker general there. We're going to send the rest of them home to hopefully start to drill. Uh, a little bit stronger. It's fine. Uh, our air is a 0 2 3. Well, yeah, we can't afford that. We'll, we'll die. So, no thanks. No thanks. All right, now we wait for Goet. Now we wait for go ahead, or wait for our frozen matrus to be up, or you know whatever else happens. We literally just hired that army reformer. How did he die? How? I literally just hired him. Like, and I just re-rolled him. I'm like, okay, we'll get uh, Frida th the fat in here. All right, she's gonna she's gonna girl boss gatekeep the armies, and we're going to be much better than before. Okay, give me another five k troops and spend this here. Well, no, don't spend the money. Don't spend the money. Ooh, almost made a mistake there. I want to uh, embrace institution. So we gotta save the money. Save the money. Because I wanna make sure I don't fall behind on tech 11. Tech 10, not that important. Tech 11, important. Very important. All right, we can go ahead and core all of this though, or at least partially state it up. Now we have a border with the uh, crack dwarves here, ice dwarves. We can continue to convert things. Yeah, we'll convert the orcs. Make them see the the ways of the giants. Did my admiral also die? Why are all my leaders dying? What's up with that? Uh, mages are at 48 influence. We could actually get a decent spell out of them. I don't think we have any spells that are too useful, though, unfortunately. Uh, like, plant growth doesn't really help us. Uh, there are no plants. 223? <laughs> really? 
No, we have to disinherit you. I gotta have at least a decent air, like a 333 at the least. We're already far behind on tech. I don't need to uh, deal with a bad ruler on top of that. Okay, how much are we getting here? Not a lot. That's all right, we can drill. I I'm fine with drilling. I just know that Gawed's at peace now. They're allied with people around us that definitely hate us. When Gawed decks me, he will call in his allies. He'll call in Wyvernhard, he'll call in Riveria. Everyone will come and join. Because he needs the help, clearly. Uh, we're gonna boost up to stab one. Start trying to build some prosperity. Perfect, we have a new government reform we can lock in. And this is where things get interesting. Right? Because we could go States General. That means I just wasted a bunch of prestige to disinherit a bunch. And it means we would give up a 563. But, there's nothing saying that we have to choose this immediately. I kind of like the idea of States General. I haven't chosen it in a long time, and I really like it. So maybe we will, but maybe we wait to see if our leader dies or not. Because I can just hold off on it and wait. New model army, okay. Uh, you are no longer, you no longer hate me. You won't ally me, but you don't want my land. And you know what? <laughs> good enough for me. That is perfectly fine. As long as you don't want my stuff, we're good. We're chill. I'm fine with that. Uh, we did max out on mill points here. Um, and I can embrace institution. So embrace institution, take that, and we're going to be taking this tech on time. Uh, we can also get up and get the next galleys, the war galleys, which would be pretty useful. Uh, go for our mammoths upgrade and our cannons be upgraded. Perfect. I can revoke land in 1531. Okay, one year away. Uh, Goet is not on my border. So we're chilling. We're chilling. Well, like, Wyvernheart could deck me and call Goet in, right? Like, there's so many... There's so many possibilities. Okay. Fine. We're going state general for sure. I'm tired of disinheriting heirs. Well... At least we don't have to think about it anymore. <laughs> uh, well, I suppose at least it will be exciting. Yep. Take tech 11. Actually, I probably should have taken tech 11. He might not deck me now. Uh, we'll see what he does. Well, he might not deck me now. <laughs> All right. Well, here's Gawed. Uh, This day was always inevitable. Now, was it inevitable that it would be a great conqueror? No. No, that part could have been avoided. We could have left that part out. But the game has decided that this is the way it's going to be. So we're going to choose uh, galley combat ability. We're going to hire an admiral. Uh, it's kind of a bad admiral, but that's okay. I would rather have had a maneuver. Are you moving to the frozen pass? Pop out, say hello to that one transport ship. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I want to end on... The yeah, see, he called in his allies too. Look at this. Oh, we only called him Wimmerheart. This war is easy, bro. Easy, easy claps. I want to go and kill his navy. Nah, his navy's moved away. We'll have to do that in the next one. I don't want to start the war, right? I don't want to start the war right now. We're going to leave it on a bit of a cliffhanger here. Uh, with Goed declaring war on us, I think we'll be perfectly fine. <laughs> like, this is this is not that bad. They have a lot of cannons, to be fair. But uh, as long as I can convince them to go over here and not go over here, then we'll be fine. If they all pile in here, we're going to run into some issues. We're run into some issues. We've got plenty of manpower. We've got some professionalism in the bank. We make it a decent income. I can have 15K more troops so I can hire mercs whenever I need to. We're going to get naval supremacy real fast. This is not copium. This is me just speaking it into existence. Okay, that's what's happening. I am speaking success into existence. But that is going to do it for today. I would like to thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.